Hey guys, Master Lincoln here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we are going to be showing off quite a rare site, uh, not a unit that I know a lot of people even have at all. Uh, this is the Domigra, the boss from Xenoverse 1, rainbow starred on the Realm of Gods team. So I'm going to bring up the overlay here and we'll go through quickly what he does. So his leader skill is completely outdated and unimportant. Uh, his super attack is the Seasoning Arrow. It does supreme damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy, which is 20%. And then his passive skill, Altering History, has a high chance to stun the attacked enemy, which is 40%. So that will obviously trigger if whether it's a super attack or a normal attack, you still get the high chance. And then the super attack gets the rare chance, which is calculated here. Both of them stack together. Uh, he has an average chance of 52% to stun with a super attack. So, obviously he's not there for damage, but he does at least have supreme. Uh, his links are a bit all over the place. He has Master of Magic, Godly Power, Big Bad Bosses, Brainiacs, Revival, Fear and Faith, and Xenoverse. So Xenoverse is obviously, very few units in the game even have that. Master of Magic is another rare one that you don't find a lot of other units that he'll fit onto teams with. Uh, Godly Power is obviously perfect for the Realm of Gods team. Um, Fear and Faith he shares with the Int Zamasu, who we're going to have him paired up with, which is at least a key link. And he does have big bad bosses, so... Although most of our floaters will be super units. So, if we go back to the gameplay. So we don't have our first rotation set, because Zamasu is on the next turn so we'll leave him with Whis because Whis is at least a support unit that provides a bit of a buff uh, obviously like I said he's not here for the damage but we'll see what he can do and then the other rotation I'm going to have the AGL Rosé and Physical Goku Black only because I just wanted to bring an other rotation that wasn't going to be incredibly powerful and just do too much damage so you see n neither of the stun triggers went off for Demigra but Decent amount of damage, especially compared to the Whis. So, obviously Goku Black. Probably finish him off here. Oh, no crit with that type disadvantage. Okay, so... Uh, I guess we'll have to leave it like this. So we can float off Zamasu. I purposely brought a Ultra Instinct Goku friend that had no dupes as well, just to... Uh, try and keep the damage to a minimum while we get a good showcase for Demigra so Goku obviously gonna finish off Bardock here let's see who are we gonna have on rotation with Demigra this time see I tried to put together a team that would be sort of realistic for what you would use on like maybe Super Battle Road but, obviously, again, like I said, I tried to not bring, like, I could have, I would obviously have brought the STR Rosé, but he, uh, he would definitely take over a little bit. So, tried to show him off on this team, because obviously we have the category Super Battle Road stages coming up, and the Realm of Gods is one of the hardest ones, apparently. So, if you have Jiren, his stunning... Any turn he can come in is pretty clutch if it happens, but I'm trying out this guy just to see how useful he's going to be because stuns are becoming outdated for Dokkan events, but are very, very useful in Super Battle Road. So, unfortunately, he hasn't stunned either time so far, so not looking promising. A lot of Super Battle Road stages can be cleared if you're lucky with good RNG, so things like getting dodges with Khalifla or well, any unit that can dodge, getting stuns with your stunning units, um, getting additionals and crits, like things like that can make or break runs. So if we're going to bring Demigra on the team, he uh, needs to be getting them stuns off as much as possible. So yeah, I chose to come into Boss Rush 6 because I think Bardock can be stunned Pretty much almost throughout the entire event, if not the entire event. So. Okay, so we actually have Tomasu on rotation finally. 
I'm going to put him in the front just so we can see his tanking. Zamasu, obviously, if we were doing Super Battle Road, Zamasu would be in that first slot, but I want to see how he takes a hit here. So let's see if we can actually get the stun off. We still have the buff from the Whis, of course, so... Yeah, not bad. <laughs> not even 500,000 attacks that, but... And still no stun, wow. There you go, that is a... Uh... Showcase for RNG in the works. So if this was a Super Battle Road run, would not be serving his purpose. So okay, so we're definitely gonna do that. And then we won't super with Goku, but we couldn't avoid a super attack with Rose, who uh, with type advantage, we'll probably finish him off. I still need one more dupe for the AGL one, even though he only ever gets used for my extreme AGL team now. But at least we have seen from what's on JP at the moment that when the... Uh, is it Super Saiyan 3? The GTA EZA banner? It's a banner that they've either got up now or have had recently. The AGL Rose actually comes back on that, so at least he comes back at some point. Right, okay. Just waiting till I was just checking the symbols at the top. So yeah, this Bardock definitely can be stunned. So I guess we don't have to get supers with everybody here. Gives us more chances to see the stunning. So can we actually get a stun here? Okay, there we go. So unfortunately there's no way to know which one has triggered because one of them is only for one turn and the other is for two so yeah so that was the one turn one so he's unstunned now but obviously we avoided all the attacks that would have been at the end of the turn so that is basically what his use is going to be for you on Super Battle Road because if you can put as I said my rotation would probably be you would put Zamasu in the first slot because he's a very very good tank and then in the second slot get Demigra to stun whoever is attacking the most in those next two slots and then even if you only get the one turn stun you're going to avoid all of those attacks for the rest of the turn so I will definitely try out a run with him on the team but I'm trying to plan ahead the best teams to use because I have mentioned this on previous streams and stuff before but I want to do a big stream when those category stages come out and try and do all of them in one continuous stream so I'm trying to find the best teams and then obviously after that I will put out some videos messing around with other teams and other units so uh, does he get any extra no because they only have godly power uh, and so actually yeah we need to put him there because otherwise he's not going to super attack so if Zamasu is not going to super anyway we'll do that just to guarantee the super with Demigra and then no super for Goku. Mm. Might actually have to try and uh, get some more supers off next turn because we only have the time limit for Bardock. Although I mean it's not, I guess it's not actually important that we win the event, just that we get to the end. So... Okay, so we got another one. So we're... The average was said 52%. I think we're what, 2 out of 5. So we're getting there. And... Yeah, it was the one turn one again. So. That's the most defense out of those two. It is actually Rose. Okay. Do this and grab those. So Goku may take him out here. Oh, Rose's going to get the Dokon attack. Hmm. I probably should not do that. Just so uh, it doesn't do as anywhere near as much damage. Although you never know. Could just get a crit and take him out anyway. Okay, good. Well, at least we've weakened him enough to the point where uh, we shouldn't have to worry about the countdown thing. Uh, how much are we going to take from that? 117, okay. Mm. 
Goku could potentially still take him out here if he gets a crit. I never get tired of that super attack. Cool. So we got a crit and he didn't die. So we get one last chance to see Demigra in action. So if he can get this stun, then we are we literally hit the 50% average for stuns. So let's see what he can do one last time. Yeah, his attack stat never even reached half a million, even with a support unit on the rotation. So but yeah, he got the additional <laughs> And uh, he did get the stun. I should show... Uh, I'm going to go into the next fight because that's the only way I can bring up the menu. I'll just show you what I put into his hidden potential system. Obviously, because we want him to stun as much as possible, I gave him a pretty decent amount of additional. But he obviously doesn't have the highest stats, especially considering he doesn't have a TUR form. So I did give him quite a bit of dodge as well. I didn't give him any crit because he's just not on the team to deal damage. So, there we go. I went with 12 additional and 14 dodge. So, well, there you go. So, that is the showcase for the Rainbow Star Demigra. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have you actually pulled this guy enough times to be able to rainbow him? I've seen quite a few people comment on various forums and stuff that they don't, they've never pulled this guy. So, let me know down below. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Again. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at The Master Again or join my Discord. The link is in the description below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.